welcome again friends i am prince joseph from open source enthusiast today i am going to show you how to host your first wordpress site in a linux vm you should have a linux vm or pc to continue on this guide i am using my centos 7 machine i created on awc c2 you can use any vm with any linux distributions but you should be aware of the change in the commands the process is exactly the same install apache by typing the command m install httpd apache is installed check if apache port is up by using netstat command port 80 is not up yet check apache service status using the command systemctl status httpd here we can see that apache is inactive start apache by using command systemctl start httpd now apache is started but it is disabled enable apache service by systemctl enable httpd now go to amazon console again and copy the public dns name of our instance paste it in the address bar of the browser we will get the apache test page now our apache web server is up and running now we can install php 7.4 first install epl repository on our system this install now we can install the remi repository in which the php is included We are planning to install the new version of PHP that is PHP 7.4. Now I am going to install the mutils package. It's already installed. Now enable the PHP 7.4 repository. Enable PHP 7.4. Now we can install PHP 7.4 on our server. Now I am going to install PHP, PHP CLI, and PHP MySQL and the extensions. PHP 7.4 Press Y Verify the PHP version PHP minus V command PHP is PHP 7.4 version Now I am going to install MariaDB 10.4 which is currently the newest version let's install the MariaDB 10.4 repository repository is added now install the MariaDB server DB 10.4 is installing now. It 
still install lot of dependencies with the MariaDB server. And the installation is completed. Now verify the MariaDB server version. It is 10.4. Now we can enable the MariaDB service. It is enabled. Now start MariaDB server. Now we can secure our instance by password. MySQL secure installation command is using now. We don't have any password set. I disable the Unisocket authentication by pressing N. Now we can change password by pressing Y. Type a new password here. Re-enter the password. Now the password is set. Select all questions with Y. Now we can enter into our MySQL console by typing MySQL minus U root minus P and enter the root password we just set. Now I entered into my MariaDB server console. I am going to create a database for our WordPress installation. Now I am going to create a user for the WordPress database. Username also WordPress. Set a password for the user. Now the user is created. Now grant permissions to user on the database. Now the user got privileges on the database. Now, and, uh, we have to download the WordPress from the web. Just search for the WordPress download on Google or I will give the link to WordPress download in the description box below download WordPress 5.4.2 which is the latest version now I just co uh, copied the link from there we can w get from our server changing my directory to slash var www.html which is the default document root for apache
now just type wget and the link wget is not installed yet we have to install wget by m install wget i'm also installing unzip package we need unzip package to unzip our wordpress file download completed now unzip the package latest dot zip we have unzipped the wait wait press We can call the WordPress installation link by using our public DNS name and slash WordPress. We have to set up our wp-config.php first. Give the database credentials here. Username is WordPress. and my password is already password so i am not changing it we can change the table prefix from the default i am changing it to prints copy this code and paste it to wpconfig.php Now continue in the installation. Set the site title. Set a username and password here. I'm just setting admin user with a weak password. I don't use it for production. If you are using a WordPress for productions, you have to set a strong password. I'm just typing a random email. the installation begin and it is success installation completed we can log in to our wordpress admin console just type the user you just created I logged into my WordPress dashboard. Now the WordPress installation completed. From here you can customize your website as you want. Thanks for watching the video friends. If you find this video useful, do like and share the video. By doing this you are helping the YouTube algorithm to spread this video to more people. Also subscribe to my channel to get more Linux related videos.